here we are going to be making a concrete jersey barrier. Now as you can see, I've already made the mold out of cardboard, which if you want me to make a more in-depth video, I will. Tell me down in the comments. But all I did was I took cardboard, I cut it out to about the, sh the shape I wanted, and then I would cut some more cardboard out here to make the boxes, and then I covered the inside all with packaging tape, and then covered the seams with just normal tape. Alright, so here they are. This also is all taped on the inside as well. I'm gonna go grab a little bit of extra normal tape just to keep this from sticking to the concrete. All right, so here it is, it's all nice and built, all ready to pour the concrete in. And so let's get a couple of clips of using these before they have concrete in them. So we got the concrete. We'll see you guys when we get home. Oops. All right, so we are home and we are going to be pouring the concrete in the molds. Let's go. <laughs> came back. So I just woke up to check out the concrete obstacles and if you like push on them, they're kind of squishy, which is really weird. And I, you could put your fingernail in it and then they'd have a fingernail mark. So they're still not ready yet. All right, so we just realized it's freezing cold outside, so that might be why. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna set it in the basement on the concrete floor in the basement to so hopefully it dries. So like, 
Dude, we have to wait so much longer for the things to dry, and I'm starting to get impatient. So I brought it out to the patio where hopefully the wind can get to it. Let's hope this works. By the way, guys, look at my new kicks. Those things are absolutely awesome. If you want me to have a realistic fingerboarding video, make sure to leave a like so then I can use these brand new shoes in the video. Anyway, let's open the concrete. Alright, well, here's the curb. I'll probably just have to hot glue it or super glue it back together, but it looks really nice. It's, it's about the length that I wanted it to be. I will just have to re-super glue it or hot glue it right where it broke. Right Here it is. It, this thing looks awesome, I, but there are a couple bubbles in it, but that's okay. It, this is a lot smoother than I actually thought it would turn out, and the molds the molds actually stayed intact, so I could just retape this together, and then this one I just have to retape it slightly, and I could use these molds again, which is awesome. All right, so instead of covering with primer, I'm gonna use my Dremel, and I'm gonna sand it all down. Here's a better view of it. As you can see, there are some bubbles in it, and you can see some of the rocks, but it's so much smoother than I actually thought it would be. So I'm gonna sand it down and get all this stuff on, off of it, and it's gonna be really cool. Alright, so here they are. I polished them and they're all nice and smooth now. I cannot wait to use them. Unfortunately, the parking curb did break in half. So what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to put a pencil or something in there to keep it from breaking. Now that that video is over, you know what we need to do. We need to shred it, brah! Make sure to like and subscribe for more YouTube content.